This is a pre-service announcement. We've lost the screen, so we're going to have to sing a couple of songs that we know really well. So I guess that's something like, what do we know really well? Jerusalem and shine, Jesus, shine. You reckon you can do that without the words? If you put it off, I'll be pretty impressed. Okay, we'll try for shine, Jesus, shine. And then we'll finish with Jerusalem if we haven't got the screens back on. Okay, so just roll with the flow. But actually, just keep your behaviour top drawer. It is the last one for the year 11 today. And also, these guys are pretty nervous. So, and they were relying on the screens uh, to help them deliver their service. So let's just be nice and respectful and mindful of what they're hoping to achieve and deliver for us this morning. Tinakoto, Tinakoto, Tinakoto Kato. Welcome to 90H Group 3 Chapel Service. Let's start with, ah. Oh. The theme of the day is never giving up. We'll start with our opening responses. The Lord be with you. And also with you. This is the day that the Lord has made. Please be seated. Just put it there. Right. Almighty Father, who is well as to restore all things, in your beloved Son, the King of all, govern the hearts and the minds of those in authority, and bring the families of the nations, divided and torn apart by the ravages of sin, to be subject to his just and gentle rule, who is alive and reigns with you, in the, uni- in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. One day, a farmer's donkey fell down into a well. The animal cried for hours, and the farmer tried to figure out what to do. Finally, he decided that the animal was old and needed to be covered up anyway. He invited all his neighbours to come over and help him. They all grabbed a shovel and began to shovel dirt into the well. At first, the donkey realised what was happening and cried horribly. Then, to everyone's amazement, he quietened down. A few shovel loads later, the farmer finally looked down the well and was astonished at what he saw. With every shovel of dirt that fell on his back, the donkey was doing something amazing. He would shake it off and take a step up. Pretty soon, everyone was amazed as the donkey stepped up over the edge of the well and trotted off. The donkey teaches us a valuable lesson, to never give up even if others have given up on you. Uh, Please stand for the hymn.
Bible readings, Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. Brothers, if anyone is caught in any transgression, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Keep watch on yourself, lest you to be, too te- to be tempted. Bear one's another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if anyone thinks he is something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. But let each one test his own work. And then his reason to boast will be in himself alone and not in his neighbor, for each will have to bear his own load. Let the one who is taught the word share all good things with the one who teaches. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked for whatever one sows, that he will, that will he also reap. For the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption, but the one who sows to the spirit will from the spirit reap eternal life. And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. So then, as we have an opportunity, let us do good to everyone, and especially to those who are of the household of faith. Here ends the reading. What is never giving up? It's when a challenge comes your way, you keep on trying and beat it. Never giving up is to accept failure, adapt to it, and become better to complete the challenge. As an example, Edmund Hillary. A Kiwi legend was the first man to climb the highest point in the world, Mount Everest. While Edmund was climbing the mountain, he needed determination to climb, knowing that what would happen, he would never give up. So he had to keep confidence in himself to climb the tallest mountain in the world. Edmund Hillary shows us that everyone has their own mountain to climb. You just have to make it to the peak. Another example is Jack Ma, the second richest man in China with a net worth of $40.4 billion. Jack Ma didn't start off rich. He had a humble but dark beginning. Jack Ma said, when KFC came to China, 24 people were applying for jobs. 23 were accepted. Jack Ma was the only guy that didn't get a job. After that, when Jack Ma went to university, he got a degree and became an English teacher. When he was teaching, he discovered computers, which weren't very popular and weren't used much in China, so he created a business in computers. When he was trying to launch an enterprise, he got rejected twice. But rejection, not failure, said Jack Ma, so he kept on trying, never gave up, and now he's a billionaire. So as you can see from these examples, people get benefits and rewards from never giving up and problem solving. Edmund Hillary said, on the summit of Everest, I, I had a great feeling of satisfaction to be the first one there. That shows us good things come from bad. We've already never given up because of the change that happened in the COVID lockdown. We all adapted. Everyone had their own mountain to climb, whether it was in online classes or cabin fever. So we all have never given up and persevered. Then you should be able to reach your goals, finish challenges that you wouldn't normally want to do. Thomas Edison, an inventor, said, Our greatest weaknesses lie in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try one more time. Jesus and his disciples never gave up to create a religion, even if with the Romans trying to stop the religion from getting started. It must have been hard to do. Then when Jesus was crucified, his disciples had to finish what he started with no man walking on water to prove it's true. The challenges kept on adding up and up, but Jesus' disciples must have never given up because 2,000 years later, we're here talking about them, and 21 billion people now follow their religion. Why don't you try to make it so when you look back on your life, you don't regret anything because you didn't back down and you never gave up, facing challenges head on, no matter how hard they were, showing yourself a success, not a failure. Because Nelson Mandela said, a winner is a dreamer who never gives up. If challenges come your way, you shouldn't complain because sometimes it's not enough time to, and then all your dreams and ideas will pass you by and come to an end. I bet that so many people in this world are suffering that they would trade places with you. So you can't just give up.
because people who are not in this world to sit on a couch for hours and hours were here to contribute to the world. Think of all the innovation and different the world has become over the past hundred years. Do you think that was from one person? Probably not. If everyone just gave up when they got a challenge in this world, we would still be riding horses instead of cars. So the next time you have a challenge that comes your way, persevere, don't give in, adapt, learn from it, complete the challenge, and never give up. Thank you. Let us pray. God of life and love, we thank you for blessing us with another wonderful day and that we ask you to guide our thoughts and our actions so that we may have a productive lessons in our class today. Please help us as we strive for success at school to never go up on our goals, dreams and aspirations. When we come up against hard times or struggles with self-doubt, help us to never give up, but give us what we need to remain focused on you and achieving our goals. Lord, we give thanks for success of our gala and the support from our families, teachers, and community. We pray that you watch over our families, friends, and loved ones and keep them safe. And we also pray that Joe Barnum will positively lead America in the right direction. Bless us in a way we've never known before. Amen. Time for silent prayer and reflection. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, we pray in either today or in English. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. So that concludes our chapel services from 9DH. So well done, boys. That was group three up. Um, we've just got a couple of classes to go through next week and the week after as well. So a big shout out and a big thank you to, to Max for your well-written and well-delivered sermon. Fantastic. Great quote there from Nelson Mandela. A winner is a dreamer who never gave up. I like that. So thank you to Max, to Quentin, to Finn. Uh, Sally Cade's not with him. He's sick in the sick bay this morning, but Finn to Harry, Will, and Kai. Let's give them a really big round of applause. Thank you, boys. Well so just a message for you, Year 11s as well, leaving us today for off on your study leave. Good luck to that. Keep calm and study hard as well. And I look forward to your safe return when we conclude the year in a couple of weeks' time. Just want to say thank you for everybody's hard work in the gala. I know Mr. Lander mentioned it yesterday as well. We raised over $9,000, which is pretty impressive. That will be split between the two schools, Fairfield and Bankford, less the expenses. So we hope to hand to those two schools checks for probably just over $4,000 each, which is pretty amazing. And I think it's uh, to be congratulated for that, for that effort. And that will make a huge difference for the lives of those kids at those two schools. I think they've used it in the past for um, playground equipment, sports equipment, Chromebooks in their classes, all sorts of things that we take for granted as part of our school inventory and supplies. So that will make a big difference to them. Thank you. Serve on Saturday night. If you're around, you want to help out with the serve and serve 80 odd meals to those with food insecurity, please come along to that. We'll meet here at the chapel at four o'clock Saturday afternoon. Uh, ukulele is on at St. Jones today. Uh, I will be down at T Hoy. So Mrs. Year is driving the minibus, so she'll meet the students playing their ukuleles at 10 to 1, sorry, 10 to, 10 to 1, 5 to 1, just outside the chapel, ready back in time for period 5 this afternoon. Alpha group, I'll say more about that on Thursday. So let's pray God's blessing on us, on our seniors on study leave, those are about to embark upon their study leave today. Let's pray God's blessing on all those who have sadly given up 
on life or given up on love or given up on their families or their children or their parents. Let us pray that we will heed Max's message. Let us pray God's blessing on all the boys at Tihoi going out on 44-hour solo this afternoon. So may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit be upon you, those you love, those you find it hard to love, and all those you pray for and carry in your hearts this day and always. Amen. I'm going to finish on a beautiful Christmas carol, Silent Night. Let's stand and sing it. Let us, let us conclude our service by saying together the words of St. Paul's grace in Te Reo and English. Kia tau, kia tātou kato, te atawhai o te atawa riki, a hihu kraitau, me te aroha te atua, me te whiwhinga tangitanga, ke te waro o tāku, ake, 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 amenu. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever and ever. Amen. Go in the love of God, the peace of Christ, and the dignity of the Holy Spirit. Kia kaha, kia hari, kia tapu. Be strong, be happy, be holy. Amen. <laughs>